Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, you see, the mass protests in Europe are just uh, starting. Uh, they started, you know, slowly in uh, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, then Germany, or maybe, say, maybe let's put it this way, Germany first and then uh, Czech Republic, Slovakia, and now is uh, France's turn. France already has a um, mass protest. It has a strike, actually. A strike on the energy sector, on a gas and refineries. And it started last month, on September 27th, I think it started. And uh, the French government, uh, that is a semi-socialist government anyway, uh, <laughs> said that it would uh, or might use force to stop the strikers to uh, go back to uh, work. Now, this article that comes from uh, Sputnik, it's from today, the 13th of October 2022. The title reads, French tra trade unions announce massive strike on October 18th. Uh, that's not good for Mr. Macron. The leading French trade unions will hold a nationwide strike on October 18, demanding higher wages and protesting against the government's attempts to force striking energy sector employees to go back to work, the unions said on Thursday. It's okay, communists fighting communists is always a good thing. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm quoting now. We call on employees to demonstrate for higher wages and protection of their right to organize strikes, end quote, the unions said in a statement aired by the Fran France Info broadcaster. According to the statement, the planned strike, planned strike is a response to government interference in the social movement of oil sector employees and encroachment on the right to strike. The strike will be held at the call of the General Confederation of Labor, Force Ouvrière, the Federation Syndicale Unitaire and the Solidaire Labor Union. French transport unions, including national rail operators SNCF and youth organizations will also join. So it's not going to be only the energy one that is uh, active right now. Now, industrial action by energy sector employees has been ongoing in French since September 21st, not 27th, 21st. I didn't even know. I just found out yesterday. When ExxonMobil employees went on strike or ExxonMobil they were joined on September 27th, this is what I remembered, by workers of French energy company Total Engineers. This is what I said. Uh, so the, by French energy company Total and Energies. Last Tuesday, trade unions announced a three-day protest demanding a, listen to this, 10% pay increase, as well as the indexation of 2022 wages to match the current record-breaking inflation of what, 90%? This, the strike led to a shortage of fuel at every third gas station in the country. The government forcibly returned the personnel of oil storage facilities to work in the city of Dunkirk and in commune of Port Jérôme du Sien in northern France. <laughs> So, 10%, 10% pay increase. I think that, uh, the thing is, <laughs> when you ask for a, uh, a pay increase, the company should be able to cover that expense. That means it needs to have um, profits. If it, ha it doesn't have profits, how is the company going to support your 10% increase? request for wages borrow money if 
it borrows money and you're in deficit, that's gonna just postpone a break. Will uh, fire employees? If you fire employees, you can't run at the full capacity anymore. Unless the employees were extra, <laughs> extra burden for the production. Then what are you gonna do? Now you can do that. That means restructuring. And then you lower your production, your operation, and you then you grow if you are um, viable and you're profitable. If not, then you file for bankruptcy. Now, I don't know if these companies here are private. I think they're privately owned. I don't know how much stake the government has in them. But imagine, I mean, just think like this. In the United States of America, I know people who uh, <laughs> were promised about 5% increase a wage increase in about three years so if you just divide that you get to what point 1.8 or something right not not even something like that let's put it let's be generous okay 1.7 1.7 about let's say so a year now how much is the inflation in the united states the official uh, inflation they say 8.8 .8. Today I saw an article, I made a video on 8.8, .8, .8, I think. Well, that is including the cost of a Bentley or a Lamborghini or, you know, this kind of things that not everyone buys. So uh, when those are factored in, the probably 25% inflation drops. And uh, that's the way it is. You can uh, easily figure out how much the inflation is, go to the store, Take a picture of a gallon of milk or bread or something that you use or just read your energy bill. Take a snap picture of that and then wait. And after a month, you go back and you take a picture again and just do a little, 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 little calculation and you're going to figure out how much it is. Uh, it's not hard to calculate that. And... Uh, as I said, I don't care if the Lamborghini, uh, I don't know, got more expensive only 2%. If the milk got 20%, that's what burns me. But if you put the 2% of the Lamborghini with 20% uh, of the milk, you get what? You get 22, you obviously get to about 11, but it's not 11 because you pay 22 or 20. You pay 20 for your milk, not for the Lamborghini. So I don't care about those expensive. So when they lump this uh, CPI, I think it's called, um, they lump, lump in all kind of uh, products that you don't regularly buy. You want to figure, I mean, just lump in products that you really consume. And then you're going to find out how much is your expensive expenses and how much is the how much are your expenses and how much is the inflation the real inflation for you and then go to your uh, employee <laughs> and tell that employee that uh, he can stick his uh, 1.7 in, uh, increase in their fucking asses that's one thing and if they tell you hey it's better than nothing we did something you answer this way hey i'm here to win i'm not here to lose you lost. We lost 10 to 1. No, I want us to win 1 to 0. That's how I want to be over the inflation. At least 1% above the inflation. Then I won. You tell me that I'm 7% uh, uh, below inflation. So instead of having inflation of 8.8, .8, with your, let's say, 1.7, I get what? 7.1 uh, or something? Or whatever I get to, I don't know, I get to the, uh, yeah, so w what is this? And you tell me that you, you negotiate, you didn't negotiate anything. And remember, you point, you put 8.8 .8 instead of putting uh, 20. And you, you did what? 1.7. Thank you very much. I got what? What? 18.3 uh, or something to get to 20. What is this? It's just a... Uh, no, don't, don't agree with that. Don't settle with that. And call out those union guys and tell them, hey, 
uh, you're a weasel, get that. I want winners, I want results. Yours is a bad result, I want good results. Anyway, the French are starting uh, the movements. There's gonna be a lot of fighting in the street, you'll see. And uh, I'm assuming that's just the beginning. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.